Hey, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and you are watching the Playhouse Build Series. In this video, we are building the platform for the playhouse to sit on top of. Hope you enjoy. In part one, I built the base or the frame here. If you missed that build, I have a link in the description down below. For part two, I'm gonna be installing the two decks, the top deck and the bottom deck. Now the bottom deck isn't really necessary, but I wanna have a place that is uh, free of grass and dirt so we can just sit down here and hang out while the kids play. So let's go ahead and jump into this build. The lower deck is gonna be composed of decking boards, which are five and a half inch by about three quarter inch. And that will be down here on the bottom, of course. The top is gonna to have two different sections. It's gonna have five and a half feet of treated plywood. And the other half will be decking boards as the front porch of the playhouse. This tree of plywood is painfully heavy, so if you have somebody to work with you, definitely use them for this step. Now that I have the plywood up here, I need to just get it over to the edge, make sure it is nice and squared up. This stuff definitely is heavy. I'm using two inch exterior grade Torx head screws to put this plywood onto the frame. Just using an impact driver here. Because I'm adding the front porch as a decking board build, it's gonna make my actual floor of the playhouse a little strange. It is gonna have an extra 18 inches of plywood here. And so I'm gonna use my tape measure to mark this out at 18. I'm gonna use my straight edge with my circular saw here to cut this out at a foot and a half. Just like with the other piece of plywood, I'm just using these same two inch Torx exterior screws to get this piece locked down to the frame. One thing that's very nice about building eight foot by eight foot is the decking boards are already cut to eight foot. So I just have to throw these up here and get them screwed down into place. I've laid out five decking boards and I'm not gonna put a space between them because over the course of the next couple of months, they will dry and shrink and there'll be a little bit of a gap in there. But I just want to make sure these are lined up with the edge of the playhouse. And then I'm going to be using the same screws to put these in to the frame. Now that I have the top platform finished here, except for, you'll notice this little strip here, that's going to do with the uh, ladder on the other side. So I'm going to be dealing with that later. Also, a little tiny cut may need to be made here for the railing. But other than that, the top platform is finished. So for the bottom platform, I'm gonna start here on the corner that is the highest as far as the ground goes. And I'm gonna be holding this up just for temporary measures with one of these two and a half inch screws. And it will actually be held in place with some nails. So to get this going here, I'm gonna set this up just barely above the ground hold it into place like that. And I'm gonna use a level to level this out and go to the other end over here and move it up until it's level. Set the level up here and then just need to pick this up until it reads level. Okay, so now I can drive this in with some nails to make sure it's nice and secure. I now have the first board installed down here. It is leveled out. 
The next thing I want to do is come over to this other side and get this board installed. Now to make sure these are equal in height here, I'm just using the tape measure from this top corner up here and going down to the board and it's 59 and a quarter inches here. So I'm going to transfer this over to the other side and mark this piece out as well to make sure these two boards are leveled out. So 59 and a quarter here. Now with this backboard installed, I need to measure from this point here to this point right here and see what length the board needs to be to go on this span here. So let's find out real quick. About 84 and three quarter inch here. Okay, this should be a tight enough squeeze that I can get it in here no problem. Let's see. Maybe too tight. Let's see if I can use a hammer real quick. I'm using some three inch screws here to go as a toenail from the top and the side. And I'm also just going from the outside in here. And now all four of the sides are complete here. It's time to get the middle pieces done. So I'm just going to come in here and mark out every two feet so that I can put these middle supports in. I'm putting three of these joists in. So I'm just going to measure between the two sides to get how long this needs to be. I like to use my speed square as a guide for my saw. Just really makes the cut that much more squared off. Battery's dead. Some tasks can be kind of annoying when working alone. One of those is holding up a board like this, trying to nail it uh, on both sides. So what I like to do is just put a clamp across my guideline and that holds the board in place long enough to get the other side nailed. It's just a really simple solution to holding something up. All three of the joists are now installed. I'm going to do one set of blocking across the middle similar to what's up here on the top but just uh, one. So it's gonna be roughly two feet, give or take, between each of these. I'm just gonna cut that down and get it installed. 22 and a quarter between these two. I'd like to stop for a moment and ask if you would hit that thumbs up button. And if you're enjoying this build, please subscribe to the channel have hundreds of videos for you to enjoy. In our area, we have a certain kind of wasp that digs into the ground and makes a nest. And I thought maybe if I used some window screen underneath the decking boards, those wasps wouldn't have the chance to fly up. They could still fly out, but it'd give me a better chance to seal this thing off and prevent those from uh, being in here. This is my daughter. She's gonna be enjoying this playhouse pretty soon, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some window screen in here. Oh, it may not do any good, but then it might. So open. better to try and to fail and not try at all. Open, open that. Yep, let's open it. Wow, this is called window screen. It's that? We're going to roll it out. Roll it out. Yep. Get up. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, don't get on this one yet. We have to put boards on it first. Oh, wow, it's so cool. It's so cool. Now that I have the screen on here, it's time to start putting the decking boards in. And these luckily are also eight foot. And so they just fit right in here. And I'll just be uh, screwing them in just Daddy, as before.
And the platform is basically done. I need to purchase more screws and fill in all of the middle pieces there. Same goes with the top platform. Now, for something a little bit special here on the platform build, I have some hardware. Let's see where did I put it? Here it is. Just some big eye bolts, and that's going to be used to hang a hammock. So I'm considering going from this corner here over to that corner, and it should give me enough in there for a hammock. I've got a half inch wood bit here. I'm gonna try and get straight through to the other corner. Hopefully it works. close we got here. Not terrible. Okay. Put a washer on here and push this into the other side. Big washer and then that on this back side. Yeah. I need to tighten this down really well. Besides finishing up with these screws, because I'd only have a, one in each end, I've got to put more in each of those supports and on the ends as well. Hammock is up, doing amazing. We've been swinging for the past 10 minutes. Now I do have to finish up right here on this edge and also this edge here. Now if I had put some spacing in here, I may have been able to get that covered, but I think I'll just rip down a board and call it good. But I think this build is looking amazing so far. The hammock is gonna be so nice whenever I'm watching the kids out here can just uh, relax and read a book. Thank you so much for watching this Playhouse build video. The next one should be coming up soon where I build the uh, staircase that's on the side over here for easy access to the porch. Thank you for watching. If you know somebody that could use a Playhouse build, hit that share button and I will see you in the next video. Bye. the bird doing? Uh, up, uh, um, uh, her castle. up on Emma's tall castle? Her castle is... Tall castle. One last quick note. I'm using some small braces to keep the playhouse from rocking. Let me show you how those are built and installed. To make these braces, I'm going to use my speed square and just mark a 45 on one corner. Take my tape measure come to 10 and 3 quarter inch. Then I'm going to use my speed square but flipped over to make the same 45 degree line here. And that's going to be the angle I need for the corner brace. I'm going to use the miter saw to cut eight of these. Now I'm going to take an eighth inch drill bit and just put some pre-drill holes toward an angle here.
Then I've got some three inch screws that I'm gonna put on the middle most holes. And then just some two inch screws that are gonna go towards the end. Do that on both sides. Installing this is quite simple. You just plop this into position here along the corner and screw these in. 